Marks with Morpheus Data. Today I want to take you through a maturity model or an evolution of cloud management platforms. We've been in this market for the last four or five years, but cloud management platforms as a category has been around since 2010, 2011. So I want to talk a little bit about how that's changed and some of the feedback we're hearing from customers over the last year. So when you think about the, the cloud journey that everybody's on, uh, there are two dimensions. There's the relative amount of effort it takes to change your processes, to change your systems, and then there's the relative value you're gonna get as a business from those changes. Um, three main stages that we see in talking to customers from that evolution. Um, and they generally fall uh, across a range of who's driving the conversation. On the one hand, you've got a set of operational concerns around command and control, around governance, around policy. On the other hand, you've got a set of development users who are trying to release new features very quickly to help companies differentiate in their markets. You have to figure out a way to meet both of these needs, and that's really where the evolution of cloud management um, is going. So in the early days, you had a lot of people looking at rehosting or lifting and shifting their applications to the public cloud. There was a perception that there'd be some cost benefit, um, but really a lot of that now has, uh, has really come down to agility, the ability to deploy new applications very quickly. It's less of a cost play than it was originally thought five or six years ago. The second key evolution that we see are customers who are looking to replatform their apps or just think about how they're deploying those applications across different clouds. It could be on-prem, could be in the public cloud. Here you still have operations teams deploying those applications, but they're trying to move faster. They can no longer afford to take two or three weeks to deploy a new application stack when a development team requests it. And then lastly, we see more and more companies trying to take advantage of some of the public cloud PaaS services, uh, adopt new technologies like Kubernetes and really deliver full self-service to their development teams so that they can rebuild these applications uh, to take advantage of some of the new, uh, new operational capabilities. So if we apply this to cloud management platforms, a lot of the early day CMPs were very focused on the left-hand side of this chart. So command and control, setting up governance, setting up policy. Over on the right-hand side, you've got new cloud-native technologies. You've got uh, Kubernetes stacks like OpenShift. You've got cloud-native infrastructure as code stacks like CloudFormation from AWS. You've got ARM from Azure. You've got things like Terraform. These are the tools that the development community are often doing as part of this rebuild effort. And then you've got the traditional operations environment. So CMP over the next couple of years is going to have to evolve from where it was to where it needs to be for, uh, for more DevOps-focused agencies. So Morpheus, where we fit, we really try and bring these worlds together. We give companies the ability to ingest and optimize their existing clouds as part of rehosting efforts. We help automate a lot of the tools and processes that are already in place so ops teams can move faster as part of replatforming efforts. But really, our goal is to get you to the full self-service capability to help development teams move very quickly without having to wait to get resources assigned. So at a glance, that's where we're headed, where we think the industry's headed, and we'd love to help you uh, get there no matter where you are on this journey. Thanks a lot and have a great day.